I wanted to make a quick video just showing how you can 3D print your bike ride or trail running course or anything like that um, if you tracked it. So if you log on to say your Garmin Connect um, and then go on to your activities, go to all activities and find the one that you want to print. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. I think this one here looks pretty good. Okay, so you'll see your activity tracking on the map like so. All right, so you can see the whole loop that we did. This is a uh, North Shore in Vancouver. So we went for a bike ride. Now, you can. I think you can do this using um, trail forks and stuff like that as long as you can download the GPX file. So that's the important part. So once you get to your run or your activity it, using Garmin, you're going to click on the gear and you're going to export to GPX. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to create a GPX file right here. Then what you want to do is go to this website called GP Extruder, okay? GP Extruder dot X Y Z. And it's really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to take your GPX file and you're going to load it. All right. So I'm going to actually just save this down on my other screen for my desktop. I'm going to say choose file and I'm going to go desktop and let's see, it should be around here. There it is. I'm going to click open and then I'm going to say extrude. And there you go. So now you can see how it took the, the map photo from up top. So I'll show you kind of, there it is there. It kind of looks like a waving cat hanging off a tree or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and it takes that, but it adds the elevation. So you can see how the elevation has, um, or how it shows all that elevation change right there. Okay, so then we're going to say uh, generate STL. Okay, and then we're going to say download profile STL. Okay, and I'm just going to take that to my desktop. And you're going to then open Cura or whatever slicer you use for 3D printing. So you take Cura or whatever you want and you're going to load the profile and there it is. Okay, so now it's been loaded, ready to print, do all your settings. I can just zoom in here and just kind of show how it shows all these different elevation changes, which is pretty cool that you can see all that from just this file, this GPX file. Um, so it really gives you a good idea of not only the route that you took, but look at those elevation changes during the climb. So over here was the climb up and then on the back side was the descent. So you can see those nice big switchbacks climbing up and then the descent was much just a very consistent steep decline or descent. So, and then of course you can do anything you want. You can increase the size and, and whatnot. There we go. Let's go 200%. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, and go ahead and print it. So if I slice it just with the settings that are in there right now, I don't even know what settings are there. Let's see how long something this would take to print. Probably a little while. And uh, there we go. Come on. 20 hours. All right. So 20 hours to print this fairly large uh, size print. Um, just to give you an idea, idea, this is for a Ender 5. All right. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and I will get this ready to print and we'll see how it looks. So the printer's going and uh, it's going to take a little while to complete, but we'll see how it looks once it's done. All right, so it's all done. Looking pretty good. Printed pretty nice. Um, there's just like the, uh, the odd little strings that I need to just clean up. So I'll just give this thing a quick go over to clean up, make it look pretty, and then we'll see how it all turned out. Okay, so I cleaned it up um, just using the old butane torch just to get rid of all the strings. And I printed it with a brim, a uh, pretty slow speed to make sure it kind of kept good detail. And I think it turned out great. 
Um, I think it's really cool how you can see like the switchback for the climb. So the climb started down here and came all the way up, switched back across and such, and then got to the very top of the climb. And then this was actually North Shore, um, Seventh Secret, and then to Espresso, and or Upper Espresso, Lower Espresso, back down. So anyways, I think it's super cool. Uh, so yeah, if you've got like a run that you did, maybe you went on a trip and did a big run that you're really happy or proud of, um, or there, maybe it's your favorite run, you could definitely print it and put it on display or give it as a gift. So like uh, this ride was actually with my brother-in-law and this is his first time ever on the North Shore. So I'm gonna give it to him as a gift just to kind of be like, here you go, this is your first time on the North Shore, this is the exact route and run that you did. So anyways, yeah, uh, pretty cool. If you have any questions, let me know or maybe ideas or comments, uh, please leave them and help others if you can. Um, but yeah. Hopefully this was a, a cool video to watch and hopefully if you have the ability, you're going to give it a try to make your own 3D printed run.